Hey Von Tossi here at Remix with 2881 Lady Cans. What an amazing team. Great resume as well. Finalists at San Antonio as well as two Dean's lists at one event at Waco. Something that's really hard to see. But they are here with their second robot, Pika 2. A really unique name because their first robot was Pikachu. Yep. It's really lovely, unique, and uh, very much of a OP style robot, but we'll definitely be talking about the differences of both robots. Really excited to get down here, here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. All right, Hope, talk me about this off-season robot and then talk me about the differences of your original robot for the season. Yeah, so this robot's name is Pinka2. Um, we designed this robot with a couple of ideas in mind, uh, mainly improving based on our in-season robot. Um, one of the big changes we made is rather than having one lead screw, we decided to have two. Um, that really just helps us with a climb and consistency. So we have one subsystem on this robot. It can do everything from intaking, scoring in the speaker, the amp, and climbing. Um, we have an under the bumper intake. Uh, from there, we have a couple of sensors inside the shooter that tells us where the note is and when we have it. Um, after that, we can score in either the amp or the speaker. Uh, now that funnel system, does that work help with the intaking the notes as well? That little scoop that you guys have? Uh, yes, it provides a little bit of a ramp from our frame rail into the actual shooter. Um, we found it very helpful as uh, with our original robot, we had some issues with it popping out and uh, becoming an issue and getting stuck. Now, since this being an OP style robot, what did you guys learn from designing and building this compared to your previous robot? I mean, We've learned quite a bit. Uh, we experimented with a couple of new things, but nothing too big. Uh, we knew we wouldn't have too much time to reprogram everything and redesign everything. So we designed a lot of it based on our in-season robot to be able to build off of and yeah. Now your shooters as well, I see that you have two vortexes. Seems like it's also a, big, a bit of a gap because of the vortexes. Is there a bit of a spin that you guys have? And the, what are, are there any speed differences? What's going on there? Yes, we do have a little bit of a spin on it. Um, it is intentional. To start off on this robot, we had uh, a little more even of a spread of wheels. Um, but as we took apart our previous robot, we decided to add more on here and gave it more of a spin off to the side. Um, and we've had to account for that in alignment, but it's really been a help. And one thing that just came to my mind, because you mentioned lead screws earlier, I remember your last year's robot was really based off of lead screws. Yes. How you're learning from that season to this to this robot, has that been any benefit to you guys? I assume it has. I mean, yeah, it's made programming and designing much easier because we have the experience with them. Um, but we've really enjoyed using lead screws and they've become a great help. And well, I'm, I would not be surprised to see lead screws in next year's robot if that comes, yeah. <laughs> comes up. Hopefully. Now, Erica, I see a bunch of cameras going on. I assume vision, LEDs. Talk to me about, a, about that. Um, so yes, we have a total of five cameras on this robot. Four of them are for um, vision. And then we have one note detection camera here on the front. Um, the four cameras are pointing all around the robot so we can see a tag wherever we are facing. Um, this is mainly helpful for auto so that the robot knows where it is and can pick up the notes, especially even after it may get hit. Um, and then on our driver station back over here, we have feedback. 
Um, so we have, um, this is the note detection camera, and then this is just a fisheye camera on our driver station so you can see if there are any notes up against the driver wall. Um, and then here's a map of the field. When it can see an April tag, it will find, figure out where it is on the field and will show up. And then in here, we have a note currently and the robot knows that and it's showing the position as well as flashing green to say we have it. And then up here is if there was a note on the floor in front, it will show exactly where it is and track it here. And then this is the uh, launcher angle. Currently it's set to almost zero. Now you mentioned five cameras, which is insane. What computer do you guys use to talk with the robot? Uh, so this entire thing is a custom built web place application. Okay. You can find it on our GitHub. Uh, basically it brings in all of the information and puts it into a readable, uh, more readable uh, interface for us. As yeah, and orange pie. <laughs> um, we have our lovely electronics panel. Um, it is much improved from the season's version, um, and it also looks very nice, so we can easily access it. Um, yeah. Well, Lady Cans, I mean, you guys every year always come in improvements. I specifically remember last year's lease grows a bit slow, but later down the season it got a bit faster. Yeah. Just love to see the improvements you guys make using lead screws again, going back to what you guys are used to. It's always great to see improvements and what you guys learn, learn from other teams. It's always great to hear from you guys and love what you guys do. Good luck at the rest of this remix event and best of luck for you guys in 2025 as well. Thank you. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to Kettering.edu first to learn more and apply.